Okay, this video is going to be about uh, installing lights in the trunk of the uh, Tesla Model S. So the, the 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 trunk has two lights in the uh, car. I took I popped one of them out here, and uh, when the trunk's open, this light comes on for a while, and then it goes out. And uh, you'll notice there's a negative and positive connection there. And I'm going to tie into that connection, go up this little hole up here, and then come out over here. And I'm going to double stick on the bottom of this tray holder, or cover holder, uh, about a foot of, of lights on each side. That's the plan. So let me try doing that. The lights I'm going to use I uh, bought on eBay. And they're waterproof because there's a coating around them. And they're uh, 12 volts. And they're, you get about 5 yards for about 15 bucks. Kind of crazy. But there's little places you can cut them. You can cut almost any length you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a length of about something like that. So I'm probably going to cut it right there where the little cut mark is. And then you can solder a new set of wires to the next piece. Okay, since the thing uh, has wires on both ends, I unraveled it and uh, it's about 12 or 13 inches so they didn't they didn't put the ends even the same pattern but it turns out that 12 or 13 inches or so does end at a point where there's a cuttable point there so if I cut that point on both of them I'll be able to have the same length. Let's see how that works. Well, that was pretty good. Get the same length on the other one. Okay, so it just turns out that the way they waterproof it is they load it up with uh, silicone on the end. So I'm going to pull a little of this through and I'm gonna have a little space on the end here as well to put the silicone to seal the hole inside so that's the next step not to do the silicone but uh, I want to get the wiring done okay I cut the uh, two uh, light strips LED light strips and I'm gonna fill it with clear silicone at the end to seal it up now, uh, regarding the, uh, the lights, you'll see this light is still on over here, so I'm going to test it and make sure that it's working, not overloading the, uh, the car. So I'm going to strip these off a little bit, a little bit more than what's there. Okay. Okay. Oh, there we go. So there's the light. It's working good. So that works good. Okay, so the way this connector works is just unplugs. But in order to unplug it, you have to push down this little tab down here to pull it out. So I'm going to put it back now that I know everything works. And I'm going to unravel this wire later. I'll wait till the light goes out so there's no power. And I'll unwire this unravel that uh, tape and I'll put a connector and then run it up there.